Today we're going to use a CNC machine to carve out a coffee table. This video is sponsored by Wrangler's Rigs Workwear, my new favorite outerwear for working outside in the cold. I salvaged these pine beams out of a building that was being remodeled here in Boston. I used Autodesk Fusion to model the table. I started with a simple rectangle and then made some other spherical shapes that I then subtracted from the rectangle to get the finished table. The bits or end mills that we're going to use for this project are quite expensive. They cost about $200 each. So we used a metal detector to make sure that we removed all nails that were in the wood. I'm going to be milling all the way down to the bottom edge of the wood. So I mounted it up on some plywood so that I won't run the risk of the bits biting into the CNC's tabletop. This plywood will also give me a better surface for the vacuum table, which will suck it right down to the surface. The table for the CNC machine is really cool. It's this grid of aluminum that has different little ports for a vacuum, and you can plug in these little strips of rubber so you can create a gasket, which will make the, the piece that you have on it get sucked right to the top. To activate the vacuum, you just remove the plugs that are going to be under the piece that you're milling. All of this is happening at the Autodesk Build Space, which is a state-of-the-art fabrication lab here in Boston. Watch the plywood move as we turn on the vacuum table. This is really awesome because we don't have to clamp the material down. Here it is again in case you missed it. Now it's time to home the machine, so we mark the center of the workpiece and then manually align the machine to that center. We started with a straight end mill to remove the bulk of the material. The first few passes were run in a three axis mode and then we switched to a three plus two system where we tilted the work plane and came in at an angle, but we're still only moving the machine on three axes. It's a little bit easier to create the tool paths this way rather than doing a full five axis setup, which we're still learning how to do. The machine then switches to a ball nose bit and starts to do the finishing passes. We flip the piece over, switch back to a straight end mill, and then mill down the top so that it was nice and flat. We probably should have run the tool path outside to in to avoid some of the tear out that we got. The table is really well shaped, but it's still a little bit rough. So we're gonna start by sanding it with 120 grit sanding pads before moving up to 220 grit sanding pads. Now it's pretty cold this time of year in Boston. So I was very grateful for the warm workwear that I got from the Wrangler Riggs collection. You can find out more about my new favorite line of workwear by clicking on the link in the description box below. I finished the table with some Danish oil. This was the first project that we did at the Autodesk Build Space and the first time I'd ever used a 5-axis CNC, so it was a bit of an experiment. If you want to learn more about it, check out our website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. We have a bunch of other videos that you might be interested in. We have other projects that include CNC machines and also traditional DIY projects as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.